Hello guys, welcome to another video in our MQL5 lecture series. In this video, we'll be looking at the MQL5 depth of market. It's a feature available on MetaTrader 5 that allows you to see the biggest the trade activity, the buy and sell trade activity going on on any asset that your broker provides you feeds for. If you go to your MetaTrader 5 and you right, right click the any symbol, click on depth of market, you should see a window pop up that gives you a chart showing you the buys and the sells, the buy and sell activities going on. You have these are the volumes and these are the prices. Here you can see someone bought 10 lots on this price, 100 lots on this price. It keeps changing depending on what's happening in the market. Each trade that has been taken on a particular price and what's the activity on your broker. You can use code to read these values and use them in your robots. Maybe if you want to buy when there are more sell than buy activities or more buy than sell activities, then you can use your code to do that. Now here is, these are the buy activity, the blue side and the red side are the sell activities. Now go to your meta editor and create a new EA. I'm going to call it learn. I'm going to call it learn A, learn nine. After creating a fresh code, the first thing you do is to create a structure that will get the values, that will store the values of that depth of market. We're going to use the MQL book info. This is the special, special structure that gives values to the arrays that will hold the values of the depth of market. You must write it like this, MQL book info. The array can have any name, but this must be the data type, the MQL book info. The next thing we want to do is create the function that will tell us the values in the depth of market. I'm going to say print values will be the name of my function. You can call it any name you want. Now I'm going to check if I have the depth of market data using the boolean using the boolean data type I'm going to say book get book is equal to market book get null null means the current symbol and null and the array we want to send this data to is the price array that's the price array that we declared at the top here that's where we are sending the data to. So if the data is successfully copied to the array, getBook will be true. But if it fails to copy data to this array, getBook will be false. So I'm going to ask now, if getBook, meaning if getBook is true, this means if getBook is true, if I say this, if I add an exclamation mark here it means if get book is false so I'm going to say if get book is true we want to loop through the get book array first we get the size of the array size is equal to is equal to array size array size of price array that will be the size, that will be our loop, our loop's uh, end point, that's the size of the array. So int i is equal to zero. Now, as long as i is less than size, which is, as long as i is less than the size of the array, we want to keep incrementing i. Now, each time we'll pass through i, we want to print the value at that point at that point of the array for example we're at zero zero means the first the first space in that array we want to print the, the volume 
the price the type of trade in that array so we do this let's first we print let's print the type first now price array is a multi-dimensional array meaning a single slot in price array can store can store four values it can store the price the type the volume and the volume real volume and volume real are mostly the same thing so I'm going to use only volume so the first thing we want to print is the type the second thing is the order price the order price we're going to say price array dot price and the third thing we want to print is the volume price array i dot volume now these three values are in one slot of this array each slot of this array holds four values i'm going to print these three values first and see our results print values let's compile this and try it out one more thing is that you need to have your depth of market open before you place your EA on chart or else your EA will not see any value will not print any value if for example I put len 9 on chart like this and I open my log I won't get any depth of market values because the EA cannot read any values but when I open the depth of market for the pair for the pair that the EA is placed on the EA is placed on USD CHF if I open the depth of market for USD CHF then the EA will start printing values I'm going to take it off because it's printing on every tick let's take it off to stop now you can see the type is 2 the price is here and the volume 1 same thing here type price volume type price volume for all the items it's seen at that specific tick now if I can go ahead and say I want to copy all the buy volumes to one value and all the sell volumes to one value and see the total buy and the total sell at the end of my iteration I can come here and say yeah inside this place and say if if the type if the type is equal to book type buy or the type is equal to book type buy market I'm going to create a new variable called the total buy and the total sell by doing this you can create a new value now at the start of the function we need to <coughs> reset the value of these variables to zero so that it doesn't keep adding infinitely so if for example you want to filter and say oh when the buy volumes are more than the sell volumes I only want to buy and when the sell volumes are more than the buy volumes I only want to sell I can say total I can get the total buy here by saying total buy is equal plus equal to plus equal to, to equal to price array dot volume this means that each time it comes here it will add price array dot volume to total buy this is the same thing as saying total buy is equal to total buy plus volume is the same thing as this these two are the same thing but the, the top one is shorter so that's why it's preferable now the next thing is the sell side we want to know the total sell also let's say total sell here and if it's equal to book type sell or book type sell market book type sell or book type sell market then we save to another value 
now here I'm going to print at the end of the iteration I'm going to print total buy and total sell so total buy will be total buy and total sell will be total sell so at the beginning it's going to print on each iteration the type the other price and the volume then at the end of the iteration it will print this just once the value of everything so let's go back to our chart and place len, len 9 on the chart where is len 9 okay place len 9 on the chart and take this away wrong place okay Now let's take it off the chart to stop it from printing. Here you can see total buy and total sell are equal. Here they are also equal. Equal. Most of the time they are equal, but every once in a while there is some deviation between the two. So you can filter that like for example the market has a serious uptrend or there's a lot of volatility upwards you will often see the buy volume higher than the sell volume and if it's going downwards like that you often see the sell volume greater than the buy volume that's simply how you can use your depth of market in code now one more thing is that depth of market doesn't work in backtest so you can't backtest depth of market you can only use it in forward test so have that in mind Thanks for watching this video. Hope you understood. If you have any questions, leave it in the question section. Thank you.